This is a short film to share some experience with you of the people who have been in care. Uh, I was in care for about 16 years. Um, I was in possibly seven different children's homes, at least two foster placements. I was in five residential homes, two foster placements and one bedsit. I was fostered from 0 to 11, then I was put in children's homes, and then I was in five children's homes from 11 to 18. I had so many places, I was just bounced around between kinship foster carers, foster carers, residential homes, bed and breakfast. I'd like to suggest how you could contribute to the Care to Work initiative. You'll see me and other people who gave the time up with the hope that better opportunities can be given more to young people like us. Like, I couldn't really concentrate on school because of what was going on at home and stuff like that. So it, it did play a big toll in my education. I can't go back to secondary school and do all them years again. It, it has gone, so that's my chance, my, my sort of chance gone. Uh, at, the start of the, at the start of secondary school, I was living with my mum and then uh, lots of things happened. And then I moved to Claridon for a weekend just whilst they sorted out bits and pieces and then my, my uh, auntie, she became like a family and friends foster carer and she took me and my brother on. But obviously they, they had their own lives. Uh, so then we started straying more um, and then me and my brother got separated, which, which I'm not gonna lie, it was hard, it was hard for me because my brother is, is basically my family. We, we both steered down the wrong path, but now we're trying to get back onto the straight and narrow. I want to go out there and try lots of different things. They're children that for one reason or another have been taken away from the most natural environment that a child thinks that they should be in, and that's to be with a family. My big uh, issues uh, is, is the level of ignorance about why young people go into care. My greatest challenge has been to overcome, I think, the perception of many people that people from a care background are limited by virtue of that background rather than by virtue of their ability. Well, this is VW. This is where I'm going to be eight three years' time after my training. In order to achieve my goals, I need a level two and three MVQ qualification. <laughs> And this is what I want. I would like my corporate parents to help me and support me find a job. Parents do everything for their children, why don't you do the same for us? I'd like to be a horse breeder and trainer. I'm going to start full-time education at Morton Morrill College, do my first N MVQ in horse care. I'd like help to get to, well, just to reach the goals I want to reach, really. A placement working at the stables would really benefit me and give me the hands-on experience I need to put on my CV. People who pass through care are diamonds. Diamonds are not grown in flower nurseries, they're developed through years of pressure and if you survive the care system then you've got enormous qualities. Um, at the moment I'm in college doing my A-levels, physics, in physics, maths, biology, um, and hopefully this year I should be going to university to study astrophysics. Um, my future career plans are to be a scientist. Uh, <laughs> I think it would be really useful if I could have work experience. It would add to my CV and give me the confidence and experience that I would need to look good for an employer. There are a lot of issues that the child is trying to deal with outside the normal realms of what other children are trying to cope with. Social services may be dealing with hundreds of kids, but each one of those kids is an individual. I'm 18, I live in Leamington Spa, I've got my own flat, I've had it a few months, but um, since the age of 16 I've had 
uh, housing difficulties and now I've got my own flat and my own tenancy I know that unless I ruin things I'm not going to be homeless again um, at the moment I'm volunteering for Mojo an LGBT group in the Children and Care Council and I'm hoping to get into youth work um, and then when I was at secondary school I did work experience at primary school and they liked me that much I had to go back once a week for six months and when it came to Christmas I got loads of presents it was the best Christmas I ever had just got to keep being positive and try and surround yourself around positive people. It's not good enough to survive. You've got to learn to live. To inspire young people to do well in care, I think we need to talk about resilience because anyone who's made it through the care system is resilient and that's one of the best skills you can have in life. Um, I also think believe in yourself and surround yourself with people who also believe in you. Yeah, I've seen some older people who made it through and shown how successful they can be and what was important to them. We thank a national voice for giving permission to use this in our film. We all want a good and stable future and want to be able to look after ourselves well. We need you to take an interest in us and help drive us on.